So that I may introduce the first lady to Pastor Ben. And when we arrived where we are meeting, the first lady had been on her knees for six hours with her staff praying. And when we met Pastor Ben, she said, I'm sorry. You came to Kenya once. We hear you are not treated well. That's why our country has been going through trouble. Please forgive us. Will you ever come back to Kenya? Kenya? Where have you ever heard a first lady Mama Wataifa reaching out she's not a pastor she's not a you know she's where have you ever heard that? only in Uganda when the first lady used to write letters to Uganda kule ambapo mama taifa angewaandikia barua waubiri wakuje so Kenya Kenya where you are going pali munapoenda the sky is the limit mwezi mkazuiliwa you should be grateful to God. Let's clap our hands to Jesus one more time. Tumpige Yesu makofi mara nyingine. Now, I know Kenya we can do better than this. Najua hapa Kenya tunaweza fanya zaidi ya haya hivyo. Whoever is not clapping their hands and rejoicing you are not for Kenya. Asiyepiga makofi Anaonekana yes. You are known for Kenya. Wewe si haupendi Kenya. Come on somebody. Nasema jamani tupige makofi. You know, you know the art of receiving. Unajua moyo wako wa kupokea. You know the art of receiving. Waelewa moyo wa kupokea. In Kenya here they used to sing a song Hakuna Matata. Hapa Kenya kulikuwa kunaimbwa wimbo Hakuna Matata. Karibu Kenya. Karibu Kenya. And people used to dance. Na watu walikuwa wanacheza. People used to praise. Watu walikuwa wanasifu. Why don't we just do that? Ni kwa nini tusifanye hiyo? And we're going to pray for some sick people. Na tutaenda kuwaombea wagonjwa. Yeah, you're not living here the same way. Au toki hapa jinsi ulivyoingia. So I want you to clap your hands more than you have ever clapped your Ivo hands. Jesus. Thank you Holy Spirit. Asante Roho Mtakatifu. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Thank you Master. Asante Bwana. Thank you King of Kings. Asante Mfalme wa Falme. Thank you for the Republic of Kenya. Asante kwa taifa la Kenya. Thank you for all the counties. Asante kwa magatuzi yote. Thank you for the president and the first lady. Asante kwa ajili ya rais na Thank you for the pastors. Asante kwa wachungaji. Thank you for the national altar. Asante kwa madhabahu ya kitaifa. Thank you for all the fathers. Asante kwa kina baba wote mas the ministries thank you for this week asante kwa wiki hii somebody clap your hands to jesus and give god the glory yesu makofi mazuri now i have about 5 minutes to do whatever i'm going to do nina dakika kama 5 za kufanya kitoto cha kufanya to be as fast as i can hivyo nataka uwe mwepesi because I, I i i want us to do that hivyo nataka tufanye hivyo i want you to sit down for a moment nataka ukae chini kwa dakika just for 5 minutes dakika 5 number 1 jambo la kwanza i think the body of christ gathered here today nadhani kwamba mwili wa kristo leo kusanyika hapa leo brother you have to be speed up yes. i am um, you have to speed up. So the body of Christ that is gathered here today. Mwili wa Kristo uliokusanyika hapa leo. We must reflect on three things. Lazima tuwaze mambo matatu. I'm not Kenyan. Mimi sio Mkenya, but I'm a neighbor. Lakini mimi ni jirani. And we've been in revival in Uganda for some time. Na tumekuwa katika uvuvio Kenya kwa muda. Au Uganda kwa muda. We've seen God do mighty things. Tumeona Mungu akifanya mambo makuu simply because kwa sababu we had a first lady who was born again. Tulikuwa na mama wa kwanza aliyemjua Kristo. And the president na raisi who gave us the freedom of worship. Aliyetupatia uhuru wa kuabudu. 
The church of Jesus Christ has recovered mileage. Kanisa la Kristo limeweza kupata nafasi na kuokoa muda uliopotea. To the extent that even the daughter of the president is one of us she's a pastor now. Kiasi kwamba hata binti wa rais ni mmoja wetu ni mchungaji katika kanisa letu. What is happening in Kenya? Kinachofanyika Kenya with your president the first lady. And I don't know whether, you like, whether you love them or you voted for them politically that's not the matter anymore. Sijui kama wawapenda ama mliwapigia kura tu kisiasa. As I told you the other day that everything come from the east. Kama nilivyowaeleza wakati mwingine kila kitu huanzia mashariki. Kenya you are in the east and Uganda we are in the east of Africa. Kenya na Uganda tuko upande wa mashariki. Jua lachomoka kutoka mashariki. The wise men came from the east. Wale wa majuzi walitoka Abraham mashariki. Came from the east. Wale wote walitoka mashariki. Something is about to happen. Kuna kitu ambacho kitafanyika to Africa. Hapa Afrika beginning in Mombasa going all Mombasa, the way to Kinshasa. Kuelekea mpaka Kinshasa. Now those of you are not ready for revival you are looking at me and said what are you talking about The table has been set already Meza imewekwa tayari Okay okay haya haya where, where can I go talk to some people Ni wapi niende ninene na watu fulani The table has been set already Meza imewekwa tayari You are about to see ministries you've never seen before. But the minister of Dr. Rodney Howard Brown. This Howard is the Brown. first time to come to Kenya. First of all God had to set the state house. So that different anointings can be able to come which have never been here before. Abraham had never gone anywhere. Abraham hakuwa amewahi enda popote in African setting. Katika mpangilio wa Kiafrika until there was a new pharaoh. Hadi kulikuwa na farao mwingine. The story we read in the Bible. Hadithi tunayosoma kwa Biblia is a story of truth. Ni hadithi ya kweli. And truth is parallel. Na ukweli unabaki ukweli. Government and church. Kanisa na serikali. Government and church. Kanisa na serikali. Truth is parallel. Ukweli ni wazi. Don't live in delu- in, 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 in delusion. Truth is parallel. Usikae kwa kuchanganyikiwa ukweli unabaki ukweli. For all these years where was Rodney Howard Brown? Wakati huo daktari Rodney alikuwa wapi? For all these years. Kwa miaka hiyo yote. Ben Hinn came once, he never came back. Ben Hinn alikuja mara moja ajarudi. Tidi Jacks never came back. Tidi Jacks ajarudi. You ask yourself why? Ujiulize ni kwa nini? Mubiri. Born in Africa. Aliyezaliwa Afrika. Born in America. Amekuwa kule America. He said I'm coming to Kenya. Amesema anakuja Kenya. Kwa nini? You ask yourself why? Jiulize kwa nini? You been in the meeting. Umekuwa katika mikutano. This is a meeting where they have not raised an offering. Hapa ni mkutano ambapo hakujatolewa sadaka. I'm going to talk about that one later. Nitazungumzia hilo baadaye. If if you really want to see kama wataka kuona what the Lord is doing. Kile ambacho Bwana anafanya. Kenya Kenya you are, you are on the front line of a great move of God. Bele ya muondoko. And yet he has come na amekuja and yet he has come na pia amekuja truck full of food kwa roli zimejaa chakula What is that to the church Hilo ni nini kwa kanisa Unfortunately you couldn't see here many of you are seated here I kuwezekana wengi wenu muone You didn't see the first lady receiving the food Mama and the flagging of the food Kea chakula na akieza kuelekeza chakula kiondoke Now that sets in motion hivyo hilo inapangilia that you are going to see anointings coming to you kwamba mtaona upako nyingi zikichakwe which has never come to you before ambazo hazijakuja kwenu mbeleni but they are going to come so quick and live so quick na zitakuja upesi na kuondoka upesi David said Daudi akasema the matter of the king is kwamba quick swala la mfalme linalila upesi you will not even have Two months to prepare. Hata hamuna miezi miwili ya kujiandaa. If you realize the time of your visitation, bishop. Ukigundua wakati wa kutembelewa kwako. 
a man of God or a woman of God. Let me tell you, when, when Uganda was, when, when we were at the beginning of our heights of beginning of a great revival and move of God, Joyce Meyer called me in the middle of the night. Joyce Meyer and she said, I'm coming to your church. In seven days. I put back the phone. We have a Jewish girl called Dina in our office in the US. She's my secretary. I thought she was acting as Joyce Meyer. And I said, Dina, don't joke with me. I put back the phone. The phone rang again. The phone rang again. The phone rang again. They called Dr. Bob Nichols in Dallas. They said, we are trying to get to Pastor Kayanja, but we can't. Then he called because he knew the phone of my wife. And my wife said, Joyce Meyer is trying to talk to you. I said, I know that is Dina. She said, no, no, she's online. She said, Pastor, I've been praying. We are going to, to Kenya for vacation. We need to come to your church for only one night. So we had less than seven days to put up a meeting of Joyce at Miracle at Miracle Center. Pale Miracle Center. And then I had to connect to the first lady's office, Na the president, and set up everything. Na ni That's why I always tell you the come, come on, come please. That's why I always tell you that when Joyce Meyer came and God told me to give her $10,000, I had to go to the bank to borrow it. I didn't have it. Young Yo, man, come, come, come. <laughs> So I needed to get somebody. Because the matter is urgent. That's where Kenya you are. God is answering your prayer. As people Kama watu, are wasting time of young people wakati, vijana, demonstrating for high prices of food, the Lord is about to open doors wana that food will roll in Kenya Kama and you will not even know high prices anymore. Lift up your hands and say, This is my time of my visitation. This is my hour. This is my time. In Jesus' name. This is what I've been waiting for. Do you know where you are? You're on the grass of the stadium. Last, last conference, they couldn't even allow us to come in here. But this is where you are. You tell me. Apart from Uganda. Tell me. Because you are traveled people. Tell me. Which country. Today. Leo, you can have a conference. Last year we were here. The first lady attended all the sessions. This, this, this month. She has been here. You tell me. A first lady of any country that attends I feel jealous for you. I feel like I want No, somebody you're not hearing what I'm talking about. This is the time for Kenya. The church in Kenya to realize you can you cannot do your own, your own small stuff. Because God is visiting Kenya anyway. I, I, I'm sorry, the anointing of Rodney is on me right now. I feel like right I'm sorry. I'm telling you, as you finish this conference, you're going to hear another great man of God come. Not only the names you know, but others are going to come in times of business. Others are going to come in times of industry. Others are going to come in times of everything. We are here in Kenya. Why? We have, Rooney is going to come to, to, to Miracle Center. To There's to no reason why I'm here. But I'm here because I know. I know. This is your time. Now, when you learn how to clap your hands, God will put something in your hands. 
So we are grateful. Hivyo tunasahau kuna tunafuraha. We are we are seeing a ministry we have never seen before. Tunaona huduma inafanyika ambayo hatujaona kabla awali. So God has opened a door. Mungu amefungua malango. I we went she will never say this. Ah pengine anaweza katuambia. And Apostle Subi will never say this. Na askofu anaweza kosa kusema hii. I told you I was in Israel. Niliwaambia kama nilikuwa Israeli. 300 pastors in China have come under our ministry. Makanisa 300 wachungaji wamekuja chini ya uongozi wetu. And I got a call from Apostle Subi. Na nikapata wito na And the first lady herself. Tume akanipigia simu. She said I have an urgent matter. Na mama Taifa akasema niko na jambo la hitaji na hitaji dharura. I need to see Pastor Benny Hinn. Ninataka kumuona mchungaji Benny Hinn. I have no contact. Sina mawasiliano naye. He is your friend. Yeye ni rafiki yako. Can you make it possible? Je, yawezekana uniunganishe? She said the date. Akapea nipatie siku. And I said, "Mama, what do you want?" Nikamuuliza mama unataka nini? So I pick a phone call Benny. Nikachukua simu nikampigia mchungaji Benny. Benny. Nikamchungumbea mchungaji Benny. This and this are happening. Hili na hili linafanyika. I called Maridon, his secret is organizer crusade organizer. Nikapigia yule ana mkutano wa dharo na kumwambia hili ni nafanyika. Akamuuliza unataka kuja lini? We are here in Orlando. Tuko hapa Orlando. I said, "Well, I, let me call the first lady and see when they are." Nikamwambia acha nipigie mama wa taifa nimwambie. Akanipatia siku. I was still in Israel with my wife. Nilikuwa Israeli na mke wake. Na wachungaji hao. Because I knew. Lakini kwa sababu I am part of East Africa. Kwa sababu niko sehemu ya East Africa. And this is the time of visitation for Kenya. Na wakati wa mtembeleo wa Kenya. I left the delegation in Israel. Niliwacha lile kikundi pale Israeli. I caught a flight. Nikapanda ndege. In other words, I paid my way. Nikalipa gharama. To go to America. Nikaenda America. A lady of excellence a lady of honor in God. Mama wa taifa aliye bora na aliyeitwa na Mungu. And I know as you work together. Na ninajua unapofanya kazi pamoja. With her pamoja naye. With her like a minister without no minister with, with with her office. Na afisi yake. I'm advising you as a neighbor. Ningependa kuwapea ushauri. I told you the other day. Niliwaambia ile siku. When your neighbor has a bull, jirani akiwa na na, na fahali. What do you do? Utafanya nini? You bring cows. Unaleta lile ngombe zingine. Uganda, Uganda, we will bring cows. Tutaleta ngombe. Because we know. Kwa sababu tunajua. You have a bull. Muko na fahali. If you don't want to take advantage of it, kama utukui If you don't see what God is doing for you, kama uone kile ambacho Mungu anakutendea. You watch what Uganda will do. Angalia kile. So, hivyo basi. Maybe God wanted to show you. Pengine Mungu angetaka kuonyeshe. The people who speak words which have no head or tail. Watu ambao wananena maneno ambayo ina kichwa wala mkia. They really spoilers. They 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 are denying your opportunity. Wao wanaharibu mambo wanawakosesha. And I think that's what the man of God said I will not take an offer. Diposa mtu wa Mungu alisema atachukua sadaka. Because he had planned to. Kwa sababu alikuwa amepanga kuchukua sadaka. I don't think he was going to take it. I don't think he was going to take. It. I'm not in his shoes. I can't speak on his behalf. Nimesezi nikanena kwa niaba yake sijui kile amalio anawazia. Because one time somebody texted him. Mtu alimwandikia. Those those two three spoilers. Wale wawili watatu wanaobili haribu mambo. Do you know they are charging they are charging people for en, for for entering the meetings. Kwamba unajua wanawekea watu pesa wajiandikishe ili waingie katika mkutano mtu aliandikia mtume. And he sent me a text. I have it on my phone. Akanitumia lile barua pepe niko nayo. Seriously, I have I have it. Niko nayo. You may think I'm just speaking things. Where's my phone? Simu yangu iko wapi? You may think I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. So I'm sinam za, sinam za. Please don't bring your offering. Usilete sadaka. You got to say I took an offering. I'm not taking an offering. Utasema nilichukua sadaka. You better take back your money. Chukua pesa zenu. I'm not. Ah, si chukua. This is not my meeting. Hii sio mkutano yangu. He, he just told me to and he didn't tell me to say what I'm saying. Hakuniambia niseme kile ambacho ninasema sasa. But I'm a neighbor. Lakini mimi ni jirani yenu mzuri. I've been in ministry for 40 years. Nimekuwa katika huduma miaka 40. I know how stubbornness can destroy men can destroy opportunity for a country. Kiburi ambayo inaharibu fursa za taifa na nchi. Please. Tafadhalini. Nobody is allowed to bring money here. Mtu asilete pesa hapa. Unanielewa? Maybe you are giving it to the interpreter but don't bring money here. Musilete pesa hapa. Pia ya mkalimani musilete. 
wewe hey, you'll be in trouble I, I just I just wanted to show you somebody please somebody come and read this for me it is my phone because this is very important as you are going into the journey of revival that you, you rebuke those who are going to destroy your destiny. I don't know why they do that. But you need to watch this. And um, And I know I've been blessed by being here. I don't know whether you have. Communications have been so to and fro. That's why I'm going through to But stay with me. So I, I don't want people to to deny you your blessing. Actually, someone also send 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 a message. Concerning Eldoret and saw him a wrong stadium. And he said, this is where they're planning to hold your meeting. The stadium has, is only 10% finished. This, this is a bad. And uh, I told him, I said, well, the people who are handling you. Watu ambao wanashughulika nao are people of integrity watu wa uadilifu and so i don't think anybody is duping uh, duping you where you're going to have if you see dani kuna mtu anataka kukuibia so i you know i i i send it to apostle nitamtumia mtume and um let me get I sent it to you, I think, Apostle Sobi recently. Was it yesterday? I want, I want you to read it. No, I wanted to read what someone sent him and then what he sent me. So that so this is bad. I, I hope. Natumai, I hope you people need to repent watu watubu and need to walk right with God watu waende sawa mbele za Mungu because it would deny, it, it, most people like me kwa sababu itawanyima watu wengi kama mimi I've been in ministry for 40 years nimekuwa katika huduma miaka 40 and uh, once that happens kitu kama hiki kitendeka Pastor David, also, you, they, they send you a message concerning the same. Pastor Eric, yeah, I forwarded it to you. I, I forwarded my response to, to Minister, Mr. Eric. Minister Eric. But this is in the house. Yeah, you, tell me what I forwarded to you. And Pastor David also, you got the information. David pia ulipata lile ujumbe. Charging, I think it's charging people. You know me, I'm, no, I'm old school. I just... Uh-huh. This is the first one. 
not sure if this is the truth that somebody told Pastor Rodney this is where the event will happen in Eldoret. Do you, know that, do you know the design? I think they're building a new stadium, right? It's not yet finished. Somebody said, this is where you're going to have your meeting. You are in trouble. The stadium, but they are lying to you. Please, I, I, you know, Kenyans, you are very stubborn. I told you, don't bring the money. You're bringing the money. You need, you need to repent. So I inquired and then I responded. Then after that, it was uh, charging money. Pastor David. David. Okay. I'm about to get to get there. When you think here. Actually I send you uh, uh, Apostle Subi, I send you my response. Mchungaji ya mtume ya Subi nitakutumia majibu kidogo. Nilikutumia So for one reason or the other, a problem will not come from other countries to hit you, it will come from within you. He sent a message to Pastor David as well and me. This is Pastor Eric, the director of the of Rodney. He's been here talking about soul winning. Please, please don't do that. I told you, the money you're raising is not money. He said, hello, Pastor David. It was brought to my attention that we are charging people for some part of the crusade. We usually do not do that. Are we charging people for anything in the meetings? Mine was, he was inquiring from there. Mine was deeper than that. So, Saints, what, what I just want to ask you, please protect the, yourself and, and respect your men of God. That God has raised among you. I highly honor the office of the, of the first lady. And please don't drag it, don't drag it in this. <laughs> These are spiritual battles. Mm. So we are grateful to Dr. Rodney. And there was so I want to thank God for the men of God, the kwa national altar. Kwa the, sababu ya watu wa Mungu na I want to salute you for that. And I want to encourage the fathers of the land. Was it it wonderful to see kuona, Dr. Kitonga? Dr. Kitonga. Dr. Lai. Dr. Lai. Oh, wasn't it wonderful? You know, sometimes we think they can't come unless you give them a place to come. Dr. Lai has been here for two days. And his wife. And Dr. Chitonga has been here. And other bishops, I cannot mention your name. They only gave me five minutes and I'm left with one minute. So, I, I want to encourage you as a neighbor
I want to realize your visitation. Jeye mnatambua wakati wenu wa kutembelewa. I want to thank you. Nataka niwashukuru for having had this and you worked so hard. Kwa sababu ya kuwa na hili na umefanya mjitolea. Thank you. Asanteni. Thank you. Asanteni. Me mimi I see your visitation. Ninaona kutembelewa kwenu and when I see something good na nikiona kitu kizuri kikitendeka. Ninawaambia. Now with Dr. Rodney Dr. is well known Anajulikana kote. I've never had a preacher. Sijaona mhubiri yote. Who flies with the Airbus? Ambaye anaendesha anaenda na ndege ya ndege. He brought a Airbus full of people. Alileta ndege kubwa na watu wamejaa ndani. What does that mean? Inamaanisha nini? That means inamaanisha the economy has been invested in. Uchumi umewekezwa. Because when 19 people kama watu 19 stay in Kenya wanakaa hapa Kenya they eat food in Kenya wanakula chakula hapa Kenya for two days siku mbili they use the fuel wanatumia mafuta ya gari they buy food wananunua chakula i was just looking at the, the trucks nilikuwa nikiangalia zile magari makubwa as we were preparing there tulipokuwa tukiziandaa pale i saw the drivers nikaona madereva i saw the tan boy nikaona wale ambao wasaidizi wa madereva i saw the farmers nikaona wale ambao wana pamba nikaona wakulima na wanaoshaka i saw the people of bags nikaona wale ambao wanasonga i saw the people who packed it nikaona wale ambao wanaweka katika mabagi hizo i saw the fuel nikaona mafuta the maize we had to mill it in eldoret to bring it here ili bidi tuishage eldoret ile that is money in the economy ni pesa katika uchumi which is coming from the hands of the righteous ambayo inakuja katika mikono kutoka mikono ya into your economy ikaingia katika uchumi wenu don't just look at and say where he came he gave usiangalie kwamba alikuja na katoa no he has done more amefanya zaidi than just preaching juu zaidi ya kuhubiri tu Now the one who was going to be hungry is going to get food. Sasa yeye yeye ambaye alikuwa na njaa atapata chakula sasa. Now think about the, the the method of evangelism and soul winning. Wazia vile ya kuvua nafsi. Now you young man how old are you? 39. 39. You are very young. God is going to use you. You have the anointing. Kuna upako. But don't be religious. Kini usiwe mtu wa dini. Listen. Skiza. So God is is, is going to do wonderful things in Kenya. Mungu atafanya vitu vya kipekee hapa Kenya. Say, well, we are having too much conferences. Tuko na kongamano nyingi kwa nini? Whenever you see a physical hunger, the spiritual hunger is greater than Ukiona the physical. Ukiona njaa ya hali asili, njaa ya kiroho ni nyingi zaidi. Didn't you gather in a stadium and you pray for rain? Ulikusanyika katika uwanja mkaombea um Do you have here? Katika uwanja huu tuliombea. Do you have rain now? Muko na mvua sasa? Is there rain in Kenya? Kuna mvua Kenya? I'm asking you. Nawaulizeni. I'm asking you. Nawaulizeni. Did you gather here and we prayed for rain? Je, mlikusanyika hapa with your president? Pamoja na I'm the first lady. Na mama. Do you have rain? Je, muko na mvua? Then don't complain when the rain comes. Usingunike mvua ikija. Because you ask for it. Kwa sababu mliomba mvua ije. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Now I have to clarify on this. Wacha niweke bayana mambo haya. Because as you start revival, unapoanzisha ufufio. Always you may be seated please. Na zaketi kwa dakika chache. My minute is about to end. Naenda kumalizia. Always mvua zote. And I'm a, I came to encourage you as a brother. Nilikuja kuatia moyo kama ndugu yenu. Always kila mara you must fight the spirit of confusion lazima upigane na roho ya kuchanganyikiwa you must resist people who are we call them in uganda spoilers lazima uwe kinyume ya watu ambao wanaharibu mambo for one reason or the other kwa sababu moja ama nyingine they enjoy spoiling things wanafurahia kuharibu mambo They have a way they sneak in areas. Wanaingia ndani kwa njia potofu. And then they will talk to people. Wataongeza na kunongoneza na watu. And then people will react differently. Na watu watajitokeza kwa njia moja ama nyingine. Others hear things without asking questions. Watu wengine wanasikia vitu na wasiulize maswali. And then people said what happened? Na watu wanasema nini lilitendeka? So as you began to get this men of God Napoanza kukaribisha na kuwa wenyeji wa watu wao wa Mungu 
when I saw it in Uganda when Reinhard Bonke last came to Uganda. Niliona kule Uganda wakati Julius Reinhard Bonke alipokuwa the late did not only stop in Uganda but he stopped coming to I mean to Kenya he stopped coming to Uganda. Of course in Uganda they kicked him out of a city. Uganda walimfukuza katika mji huo. Because someone went kwa sababu mtu alienda he was removed from the committee. Alitolewa katika kamati and he went and talked to the authority that this man is misleading people. Akaenda kuambia viongozi kwamba huyu mtu anapotoza watu. He is preaching against government. Anahubiri kinyume na serikali. Bonke wasn't you all know Bonke. Bonke ako kihubiri kinyume na serikali unaojua Bonke. About Jesus and miracles. Alikuwa anahubiri kuhusu Yesu na miujiza. And there was a, a district leader. Na kulikuwa na kiongozi wa wilaya. That man died a very miserable death. Jamaa alikufa kifo kibaya sana. That's why he cannot play game with church. Niposa huwezi kucheza na kanisa. And uh, he went and told him. He said the man is against you. He's mobilizing everybody. Against the government. Kinyume na taifa. And the man came. Na huyo mtu akaja and grabbed the microphone from Reinhard Bonke. Akanyang'anya ile kipaza sauti kutoka kwa Reinhard Bonke na alikuwa akihubiri jinja. He grabbed the microphone. Akamnyang'anya kipaza sauti. And he threw him off the platform. Na akamsukuma kutoka kwa jukwaa. And he said you have got 6 hours to get out of the Akamwambia uko na siku masaa 6 utoke katika nchi. Did that was one of the pastors. Mmoja wao aliyefanya hiyo ni mchungaji because he was not put on a committee so he decided to destroy them. Kwa sababu alikuwa katika kamati andalizi aliamua kuharibu mambo yote. Bonke had set himself to preach in 20 cities of Uganda. Bonke alikuwa ameyojipanga kuhubiri miji 26 Uganda. Bonke took off his shoes. Bonke akachukua viatu zake akatoa viatu zake. Cast this place. Akalaani. You all know Jinja. Unajua Jinja? Cities which are new like Mbarara, Guru are much more faster growing than Jinja. Miji midogo ambayo imechipuka inaanza kukua kushinda Jinja. The man lost his mind. Mtu alikuwa na kichaa. He calls his daughter wife and he calls his wife my enemy. Akaita mto binti wake mke wake na akaita mke wake adui yangu. Recently he died. Akafa. So I want to caution you. Hivyo nataka niwapatie tahadhari. That please. Kwamba tafadhalini. You will lose more. Mtapoteza mengi zaidi. When you have people. Kama utakuwa na watu. Who are spoilers. Ambao wanaharibu. They don't only stop confusing guests but they also stop confusing you watakusio tu kufanya wa, wa, wageni waka, wakachanganyikiwe pia ninyi pia so that's why i wanted to caution you hivyo nitaka niwapatie onyo na tahadhari much more is coming your way mengi yaja kwenu and there are people of integrity among you kuna watu wa wadilifu kati yenu they have kept their name wameujilinda jina zao majina zao so be, before someone starts speaking this and this and that if you kabla mtu aseme hii ama aseme lile just just tafadhali but we've been robbed lakini tumenyang'anywa i was looking forward i, I came with my seed i wanted to sow a seed nilikuwa tayari kutoa mbegu zangu Child of God if you don't understand we robbed the uh, an tumen, opportunity to tumenyang'anywa fursa ya kupanda when Joyce Meyer received the 10000 Joyce dollars Meyer alipopokea 10000 dola our church was never the same kanisa yetu haikubaki vile i was i was just showing uh, apostle subi nilikuwa nikimuonesha mtume subi i saw him the x-rays these x-rays they use when at the hotels presidents are coming because of the threat of the bombs we have kwa sababu ya ngumu za mifupa zetu we've just put one down now at the church tumeweka moja katika kanisa letu because you're not going to shut down our church kwa sababu unataka funga kanisa letu no you're not going to shut down our church hawezi funga kanisa letu because you want to blow us up kwa sababu unataka kutulipua we are going to meet you with technology you have never seen sisi tutaiwekea teknolojia ambayo hujaona But if you are poor, lakini kama wewe ni maskini, if you are poor, kama wewe ni maskini, they will shut you down. Watakufunga. Kawia kufanya. Apostle Subi don't stop. Usiwache kufanya hivyo. Because if you feel and you get offended, mkikwazika, then and you stay back, na uache kufanya hiyo, the devil wins. Shetani atashinda. The teaching Dr. Rodney has taught. Mafundisho ambayo Dr. Rodney amefundisha. Boy, it's going to set your life on fire. Itaweka moto maisha yako. 
It is going to change you forever. So I want to pray for you. Those who are sick. And, um, and God willing, when he gives us chance, chance we'll come back. Yeah? And we will be able to, to serve you. So if you need a touch from God. You are sick. You need a miracle. You already saved, filled with the Holy Spirit. Just come and stand over here. Let's jo, pray for you. Jo, hapa Let's believe God. Mungu. Let's believe God. Mungu. That God will do great and mighty things. Mungu and no time is gone. We have to move, go somewhere. Na I'm jua, sorry for holding you here. Oleni, kwa kwa I hope I've, I've managed to clear some of the, the issues that may log into people's mind and they look at you and they say you got the money and there's you you got the money and then they will not stop there then they will start dragging the first lady and they said you know if she has the i mean the whole meeting in eldoret is on her shop and friends so me i believe the enemy has seen what is coming and so he's going to use that to really do that no we are better than that we know better than that we can't take offense no we've been around for some time especially me if I can survive a bomb of a terrorist ADF, these are terrorists, Boko Haram. If you survive that, then what can the words of men do to you? But they destroy people's thinking. And you are very important to whatever's going to happen here. You know, I feel at the end of this year, end of next year the Lord spoke to me to come to Kenya to do some meetings I hope you will receive me yes sir yes sir I, I, I'll pay my way <laughs> but anyway God is good and please come to Uganda Uganda we love Kenyans. You know what you don't know about Uganda? During Idi Amin, Uganda was our home. You're welcome to Uganda. Even the family of the current president, Museveni. Kenyans, thank you. You welcomed us. We lived among you. You fed us. And that we owe it to you. So we love Kenya. I know Jesus loves you, but Uganda loves Kenya. So you're gonna be you're gonna be tired of us. Because whatever good we'll see, we'll have, we'll share it with you. We'll share it with you. Until you say, don't bring your things here. Amen. Amen. Touch what we'll feel the pain. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. You are yesterday, today, and forever the same. We just want to thank you for Dr. Rodney. Thank you for the anointing. Thank you for the power. Sante kwa nguvu. Thank you for the grace. Sante kwa neema. Thank you for life. Sante kwa uzima. We just thank you, Lord. Baba twasema asante. We just thank you, Lord. Mungu twasema asante. To your name be glory. Kwa pia utukufu wote. To your name be honor. Jina lako heshima. To your name be majesty. Jina lako utukufu. We thank you, Lord. Asante Bwana. Though we didn't get a chance to sow give us the opportunity to do so but above all 
Bless him mightly. Bless his wife and children. Bless his ministry. Bless his journeys. We give you praise and glory. We thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen and amen. We love you, Father. We love you, Jesus. Now, Lord, touch our bodies. Because you are healing God. Heal those who are blind, those who are deaf, those who are sick, those who need a miracle, those who are demon possessed. Free them today. Just release your healing power in the mighty name of Jesus. I rebuke every sickness and disease. I just release the grace of God, the miracles of God, and the power of God. Lord, deliver. Deliver everyone who is oppressed by the enemy. Deliver everyone who is oppressed by the enemy. Lord, I give you praise and glory. Somebody say, Jesus, set me free. Jesus, heal me now. Jesus, bless me today. I will never, never, never never be the same again. Thank you, my master. Thank you, my savior. Thank you, my redeemer. Thank you for my life. Thank you for this country. Now lift up your hand. Let's pray for the president and the first lady and the cabinet. Let's pray for the church. Let's pray for your house. Come on, Father, in the name of Jesus. We pray for his excellency. William Sumei Ruto, William President of the Republic of Kenya, and the First Lady, Mrs. Ruto, and the Deputy President and his wife, the Chief Justice, the Speaker of Parliament, the Senate, Lord, we, the Parliamentary, we just pray. We pray for the governors, we pray for every county, we pray for every husband and wife, we pray for the families, we pray for the bishops and pastors, Evangelists and preachers, we pray, my Father, that you touch everyone. Lord, bless our homes, bless our coming, and Lord, bless everybody who has worked in this revival. Everybody who has done anything, whether putting up a poster, whether sharing it, whether communicating, whether talking about it, whether cleaning this place, whether working and setting things in place, whether cooking and serving food, or giving water or sweets the security bless everyone bless everyone bless everyone lord in the mighty name of jesus we give you praise and glory lord i release your healing virtue all the anointing we have received we are taking it home in our businesses in our churches in jesus name just lift up your hand and just laugh Laugh somebody Just laugh No more depression Just laugh Amen, Amen Bwana Yesu asifiwe Ninaomba nyote musimame Tufumalise na maombi Mkutano wa ajabu Ambaye bingu ilifunguka Hivi kalibuni ya tuja Ona watu wa kiyokoka vile tumeona wa kiyokoka hapa Tunashukuru mungu kwa sababu ya kila mtu So sasa tutaomba uh, niwaombe muende safari jema mubarikiwe physically spiritually mentally everything in the name of Jesus Waja tuombe baba katika jina la Yesu We want to thank you kwa sababu tangu tukuje hapa Bwana umekuwa na sisi tumeona ukifanya mambo makubwa mafuta imeonekana roho mtakatifu uponyaji nguvu na maneno mengi ambayo tumesikia Bwana ya kufuja anga na kufanya unyefu wa, 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 wa maji kutoka biguni utufikie. Sasa Bwana tumefika mwisho. Asante kwa kila mtu ambaye alitumia pesa zake kuja hapa, akatumia muda wake kuja hapa, kila mtu ambaye alifika hapa kuanzia uh, wa first red mpaka mtu yule mdogo sana Bwana, naomba wabarikiwe nyayo zao, miguu yao ibarikiwe. Na kama kuna walikuwa wagonjwa miguu asigojeke tena. Na tunaomba Bwana ya kwamba kuanzia sasa baraka itangazwe manyubani, baraka itangazwe jiani, baraka itangazwe mpya kuanzia siku ya leo. Na hiyo baraka imetoka Marekani.
tumeipokea na moyo umefunguka kabisa ili baba tubarikiwe na kwa mioyo iliyokujuliwa tunasema baraka kwa Rodney na timu yake yote na wasafiri salama mpaka kwao wasipate shida yoyote jiani bwana ateisemekana walipata shida wakitoka Kenya tumesema walindwe na watu wale wote wako hapa bwana tunasema waongoze walinde jiani barabarani bwana na tunaomba ya kwamba utupatie muda mwingine wa weekend hii kukutana pale kwa kiwaja katika jina la Yesu tumeomba na kuamini may the grace Ambia moto shule goodness Shall follow you all the days of your life Forever and ever Shalom bye bye